I'm about to show you how to get the MAX 41464 transmitter up and running. Hi, I'm Marty Stair. I'm an applications engineer for Maxim Integrated. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get an evaluation kit started up for the MAX 41464. Uh, you should have already received the evaluation kit. Inside that evaluation kit, we have these components here. Uh, there's a reference card. Uh, there's a DAP link that's used to program uh, the feather board that comes along with the kit and the evaluation kit itself for the MAX 41464. And included in there are two USB cables. Those USB cables are used to interface with the feather board itself, the micro and the other one is used to program the micro one in, uh, using the DAP link card. Uh, when you get the kit, the kit also comes with software. Software is available on the Maxim Integrated website at maximintegrated.com slash max41464. If you go to that website, under the Design Resources tab, there's a software link. You click on that link and download the software and install it on your computer. It's compatible with uh, Windows, Microsoft, uh, Win 10, and so forth. Uh, I've already installed that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, configure the kit, interface it with the, the laptop, and uh, hook it up to a spectrum analyzer uh, that's also connected to our laptop here. Okay, so the MAX 41464 transmitter has a number of operational modes. Uh, the first operational mode I'm going to demonstrate is the I squared C interface. The I squared C interface is selected uh, on the hardware uh, with uh, only a few jumpers. Uh, the device can run in a preset mode, and we'll demonstrate that later. But two of the jumpers are used to select the I2C interface. You connect the select 0 and select 1 jumpers to ground. And you also connect a jumper for the I2C pull-up resistors. Uh, once you have the system connected uh, with the proper jumper selections, you connect the uh, feather board, uh, which is piggybacked uh, underneath, in this case, with the MAX 41464 evaluation kit. You hook that up to your laptop that has uh, the software running. And in this instance, um, connecting with a uh, Tektronix spectrum analyzer that's also with my laptop, I have a 10 dB attenuator in line with the uh, RF cable. That 10 dB attenuator is because my spectrum analyzer uh, cannot uh, receive or cannot process such a high output power, which is one of the, the key features of the MAX 41464. When you start up the software, um, it's fairly straightforward to use. The first thing you're going to want to do is connect to the feather board. Uh, in this case, I'll refresh and uh, make the connection to COM7. Uh, the next item that you're going to want to do is uh, select a voltage level. Uh, there's a range of voltages available from the featherboard uh, PMIC. It runs from uh, 1.8 to 3.3 volts. In this case, we'll run it at 3 volts. I'm going to select the individual product out of the family. Uh, and it, again, this is the MAX41464. I set that value. I'm also going to set the crystal frequency. The 464 is an FSK only device, but we need to tell the software that it's running under FSK. I'm also going to set up the power setting. In this instance, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to start with power level 1, which is the lowest setting available. I'm going to select a frequency. We're going to start by demonstrating this at the European uh, high band frequency of 868.3 megahertz. We're going to run this under FSK shaping 
and I'm going to use a frequency deviation of plus and minus 40 uh, kilohertz uh, deviation. The evaluation kit has the ability of generating data and so we're going to generate that data at a five uh, kilobit data rate and we're going to send a message, a continuous message of AA and we'll start that message sending and what I'm going to do is jump over to the spectrum analyzer and display our FSK spectrum. As a quick demonstration of uh, some of the software and the device capabilities, I'll just stop the data stream. I'll go and select the higher power setting for the device, set that, and we'll start the data stream again. We'll go to the spectrum analyzer, and you can see that the peaks on the frequency FSK deviation are now much higher. So that's the I squared C interface. Uh, I'm going to reconfigure the hardware to run with the what we call a preset mode. So the MAX41464 has the ability to set different frequencies uh, with two select pins. Those two select pins allow you to choose uh, European bands uh, anywhere between 315 uh, all the way up to 915 megahertz depending on the device that you've uh, chosen. Uh, and you can operate under ASK or FSK uh, modulation. In this case, again, the 41464, we're going to run it in pre-select mode uh, at 868.3 megahertz. So I will stop here and reconfigure and describe that to you. All right, so I'm going to disconnect this. And so just as a description, so the two select jumpers are uh, select zero and select one. Uh, this was already configured for I squared C operation. Those two jumpers would uh, be connected to the ground pins, which are on the right hand side of the three pin jumper. I'm going to put select one to no connect, which floats at the select one pin. The select zero I'm going to connect to VDD, and that will select the 868.3 megahertz operation. I'm also going to remove a jumper that disconnects the I squared C pull-up resistors. I'm going to reconnect the system. So now we're interfacing to the software on the laptop again. We're looking at the output on the spectrum analyzer. We now have the board set up in preset mode. I'm going to go back to the software. The software has the ability to drive data from the microcontroller uh, for that use. So I'm going to connect again with the software to the microcontroller. I'm going to set this to operate at 3.0 volts. We're going to tell the device uh, or the software that we're using the MAX41464. And once we have done that, everything else is already pre-configured. So I'm going to tell the software that I'm using this in preset mode and that we're just going to simply generate data at 5 kilobits per second with a continuous stream of AA. So I'll start sending that data from the software. And if we go over to the spectrum analyzer yet again, uh, again, in this instance, we have the device running without any software control. All you have to do is send it data. So what it's showing here is uh, the FSK spectrum for the MAX41464. And it's operating, it's uh, natively set to run at its highest, um, highest power output. Again, the, uh, the, the power for the spectrum analyzer is uh, attenuated by 10 dB because of the limitations of the spectrum analyzer. So the third method of operation is to use the MAX41464 evaluation kit without any software interfacing, just by itself. There's no micro involved. It's using the same preset mode, but it uses a power supply and simply a, a data stream to get the device operational. So it has a one pin data interface. I'll switch the system over to that hardware wise, and I'll give you a demonstration of that setup. Okay, now we're back. 
Uh, again, this is the MAX 41464 evaluation kit. And what we've done is I've set this up uh, for the standalone preset mode configuration. Uh, so what that entails is we have now a power supply set to three volts. Uh, I have a data generator uh, just producing a simple square wave at four kilobits per second. And I have it hooked up to the Tektronix uh, spectrum analyzer as before. Uh, the board is configured a little differently instead of using the uh, feather board uh, to control the device. All we're doing is we're powering it uh, from the power supply and we're sending it uh, data through one pin. Uh, the power supply is coming in on the two jumpers here. Uh, the data is coming in on the data pin, uh, which is just coming through the coax. And we still have the jumpers configured for 868.3 megahertz operation. Uh, the output again is going through a 10 dB attenuator for the spectrum analyzer and we already have the data running so I will show you uh, the spectrum. So once again we have a nice FSK spectrum this time with uh, 4 kilobit per second uh, um, data rate and uh, the plus and minus, in this case, it's a plus and minus uh, 39 kilobit or kilohertz uh, deviation. So that works out to be just shy of 80 kilohertz of uh, difference between the two peaks. Okay, well, that's how easy it is to set up the MAX 41464 evaluation kit. If you'd like more information, uh, come visit us at maximintegrated.com. And for the exact kit, you can go to slash max41464, order the kit, download the software, have fun with the transmitter. Thank you.